According to Hinduism, the world will go through four ages. The worst of the four ages is known as Kaliuga or Kaliug. Many believe it's today's present age, although many also believe that we're not actually in Kaliuga at all. It's an age full of deception, full of conflict and chaos. There's discord and tension everywhere. There's hunger and poverty. Religion is used for business and wars, and the worst of the people are leading mankind. Kaliug is also associated with the demon Kali, not to be confused with the Hindu female deity Kalima. The demon Kali is the one who spreads injustice across the planet. It's basically the Hindu version of Antichrist, and the demon Kali is also aided by two military generals known as Koka and Vikoka which very much resembles Gog and Magog. But it's not all chaos in this age, because it's said humanity will be saved, religion will be re-established by someone known as Kalki Avtar. According to Hinduism, Kalki's arrival on Earth will mark the end of the current epoch, the Kali Yuga, the fourth and final stage in human history. Kalki Avatar is said to finish off the sinners and protect the pure-minded people and establish world peace. So who is this mysterious figure? Well, there's been a number of interpretations surrounding this figure, not just within Hinduism, but also in other religions as well. And there's been a number of people who've also claimed to be Kalki himself. Many people of the Ahmadiyya, or known as the Qadiani religion, believe their founder, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, was the Kalki Avtar himself. Members of the Baha'i faith have interpreted the prophecies of end times as references to the arrival of their founder, Baha'u'llah. There's also been some people suggesting it was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and that's what I want to focus on today. According to people like Dr. Zakir Naik, Kalki Avtar was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So let's dissect this tonight and explore. I'll just mention in brief the few points which is prophesied in the scripture. Point number one, his father's name will be Vishnu Yas. Vishnu means God. Yas means the servant. It means the servant of God. If you translate into Arabic, it means Abdullah, which was the name of the father of Prophet Muhammad Here, Dr. Zakir Naik is talking about the father of Kalki Avtar, the end time savior in Hinduism, saying that the father of the Kalki will have the same name as the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's father, Abdullah. But that's quite far-fetched, because Vishnu Yasha does not mean servant of God. Sure, Vishnu is a god, but Vishnu Yasha means one whose fame is spread far and wide. And I'm surprised the doctor has translated this as servant of God, Abdullah. If it was servant of God, then it would have been Vishnu Das or Dev Das, the servant of God then I would have agreed with him, as Das means servant. Vishnu Yash does not. The mother's name will be Sumati. Sumati in Sanskrit means serenity, calm, peace. In Arabic, it means Amina, which was the name of the mother of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu yeah, the doctor is saying Kalki Avtar's mother, Sumati, will have the same name as the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's mother, Amina. Kalki Avtar's mother's name, Sumati, does not mean peace, it means good intellect. Derived from Sanskrit, Su meaning good, and Mati meaning mind or thought. So good mind, good thought. The prophet further says he will guide the ignorant people to the straight path. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam guided the Arabs. Those days were called as Ayyamul Jahiliya, the days of ignorance. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with the help of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, with the help of the Quran, he guided the Arabs from darkness to light. This is all good, but the story of Kalki Avtar states he will clearly usher in world peace. I don't see any peace at the moment. The Kalki Avtar will fight the demon Kali, 
and the two military generals Koka and Vikoka and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him did not fight Gog and Magog nor Koka and Vikoka although he did prophesy about their coming in the end times. So how can Dr. Zaki Naik even say with full conviction that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was Kalki Avtar? It does not make any sense. It further says he'll be helped by four companions, referring to the four Sahabas, the Khulfa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Usman, and Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with them all. Here he brings a twist, a sectarian twist to the story of Kalki Avtar trying to promote his narrative and his way of following. Because Kalki Avtar will not have companions, they're actually more than companions. He will have four brothers, these are elder brothers. You see, what Dr. Zakir Naik is doing is very deceptive. It's religious gymnastics in order to accommodate his own narrative. And it's quite sad that people are clapping away and have no idea what they're clapping about. I bet most of them haven't even bothered to verify this information after the lecture. But I won't be surprised because in this modern day and age, a lot of people just read the Quran, yet they don't understand it. Or a lot of the times they don't even read the Quran. They just rely on people with big beards to translate for them. And that's where everything goes wrong. Thank you for listening. I hope you read the Quran. Question some of these people out there who are not doing our faith any favours at all whatsoever and lying blatantly. It's time to call these things out. Assalamu alaikum, shalom alaikum, adios, sayonara, and thank you for listening to the Independent Islamic Republic of Foreign Policy Hawk.